tonight, a local deputy seen taking a homeless man across county. Now, when you see the video, the act may seem like a helpful action, but as Fox 40's Ben DC explains, others believe it's a dumping problem on another area to now fix. We're going to start you off tonight with a video clip, a video clip that's causing some dismay here in eastern Sacramento County. The clip is from the show Sheriff's El Dorado County. And yes, that's a show you can see right here on Fox 40. It's a real life cop show, a documentary, so to speak. And in it, you see a deputy from the El Dorado Sheriff's Department giving a man who's been identified as a transient a ride, a ride over county lines. My partner will give you a ride to get you out of the neighborhood. I don't know, I was going west. Man. Okay, I can get you as low as uh, Folsom if you'd like. Okay, sir. It's in front of us each and every day. Uh, it is something that we would like to get addressed. I think uh, with a video or uh, with the show that everyone uh, pretty much saw. Gary Burns is concerned about homelessness. He's the founder of a community watch group for Orangevale and a former El Dorado County Sheriff's deputy. He says that since Proposition 47 passed and law enforcement officers lost the option of jailing low-grade offenders for their own health or safety, he's not surprised to see a transient being brought into the area from somewhere else. Being a former deputy myself, I have known that these uh, sort of practices do exist among some of the law enforcement agencies. It's not much of a secret. Homelessness is a significant issue in Orangevale, eastern Sacramento County, but a spokesman for the El Dorado County Sheriff's Department says they don't contribute to that problem here that they never shuffle transients out of their jurisdiction and into someone else's. He says the man they dropped off had a place to go, a specific location he was traveling to, and that the El Dorado County Sheriff's deputy couldn't just leave him in the middle of nowhere, where it wasn't safe after his friend had been arrested. That's the policy, he said, for anyone, transient or not. And, you know, I was with the group for about, uh, about 15 people, you know, and. We pretty much all stuck together and we still are all really close, you know, and right now my friends are having a hard time up here. Homeless people here we spoke with told us they'd never been dropped off here from other counties, but they'd been shooed away from other jurisdictions lots of times, that in fact, it's a constant part of their lives. The Citrus Heights, Fair Oaks, all the ma ma major big cities, they tell us to come out here to Orangeville and just, and t it's more like a setup. Uh, getting started right now behind me in Orangevale is a community meeting with citizens and the Sheriff's Department of Sacramento County. I spoke with the Sacramento County Sheriff's Department earlier today. Their spokesman told me they didn't have any information or any knowledge of homeless people or transients being shuffled from jurisdiction to jurisdiction. They will certainly be having a conversation about that at this meeting tonight. Reporting from Orangevale, Ben DC, Fox 40 News. Ben.